Hello everyone! Start off by taking two sections of hair from the left and the right side from the front, tie it up at the back, add a rubber band in the middle, and then twist the bottom portion of the hair in on itself. Then take two sections from the side and then braid it. Then add these two braids through the middle intersection and make it a heart shape. For our next hairdo, start off by taking two sections of the hair from the front and then tie it up at the back. Then take two more sections and do this two or three more times. Repeat this step until you reach the base of the scalp and once you reach the base of the scalp, you may tie your hair up normally in a braid. Take a U-pin and then using a rubber band, bring the hair up to the front. Next, take two sections of hair from the front, tie it up at the back and then roll it in on itself so that it forms these two twists. Then make two ponytails and then in the middle of these two ponytails, add rubber bands in the middle and then twist them in on themselves so that they form this. Roll them through the twist and then make two braids. For our next hairdo, take two sections of hair from the front, tie it up at the back and roll it in on itself. Make two ponytails and then twist each of these two ponytails in on themselves so that it looks like this. Then take these two twists and then put them in through the first intersection of the first twist that you have made. Repeat this step one more time and then insert them once again into the twist. Join it to the bottom and then add a decorative clip. For our next hairstyle, start off by taking a section of the hair from the front and then tie it up at the back. Loosen strands of this by using your finger. Then take two more sections from the front and tie it up at the back and then roll it in on itself so that it forms these twists. Using your finger once again loosen it and for the bottom braid it normally. Add a decorative clip once you are done and then roll the braid upwards. Next, take a section of hair from the left side and then tie a rubber band to it. Then do the same on the right side and then twist each of these in on themselves. Then add a rubber band to each of these sides in the middle and then twist them once more. Now insert this into the initial twist that you have made. Add a rubber band to the scalp and then roll it up to make a bun. Next, section of the hair from the front and tie it up at the back. Make a twist in this hair. Take two more sections and once again twist it in on itself. Do this a third and a fourth time until you reach the base of the scalp. Once you reach the base of the scalp, divide the hair into two portions, or rather three portions, and then twist two of the outer portions into themselves. Repeat this two times and then roll it up in order to form a bun. Secure it with a bobby pin. For our next hairdo, start off by tying a ponytail. Then make two sections, one the bottom section and the top section. And then roll the hair upwards and make a bun with the top section. With the section that is left out, make a braid out of it. Once you have made the braid, using your finger loosen some portions of the strands of the hair of the braid. Do this on the left side. Now roll the braid over and then pin it up on top of the bun. You may use bobby pins to secure it in its place. For our next hairdo, take two sections of the hair from the front and then tie it up at the back. Then add a rubber band in the middle and twist it over. Taking a U-shaped pin, make a bun like this. Add a braid on the left and the right side and then loosen it using your fingers. Once you are done with this, take the braid and then roll it around the bun that you initially created. Do the same on the left and the right side. This is what it should look like at the end. Once again using your fingers, loosen the top. For our next hairdo, start off by taking two sections of the hair from the front and then tying it up at the back. Roll it in on itself and then divide the hair into two portions. Twist the hair in on itself and then insert it through the twist. Use a decorative clip once you are done. Thank you for watching.